Hey guys, it's Kristen. I wanted to make a training video to show you how to do a few things on the new Pixis ES platform. Uh, the screen you're looking at is the home screen in a training environment. So I want to show you that you can do all things by following these buttons down here. Okay, so pretty intuitive and it's a touch screen, kind of like an iPad. Um, to see everybody in the care unit, you're going to click all available patients. So this is a training environment and you can see that this would be everybody in the unit that I'm just signed in on the Pixis machine. Um, you can see that name alerts uh, appear in orange and they have the double little head symbol right there. So David and Jessica have the same last name and they appear as a name alert. Temporary patients that I've added have a little blue flag under their name and they say temporary. So if I needed to create a temporary patient because I have somebody in my unit um, that is not uh, showing up for some reason, and they're doing something uh, that's not good. They're having a seizure, they're having a malignant hypothermia, or they're hemorrhaging, and I need to add a temporary patient to override a medication and rescue them. I'm gonna click Add Temporary Patient. I can type in any amount of content for a name. So like right here, I wrote John Doe, but then right here I just actually typed one letter, the letter E, and then I clicked Accept. So you can do that to add a temporary patient if you were to need to rescue someone. Okay, so let's talk about removing meds. I'm gonna click on Jessica here. She's the patient that I've loaded things under. And I'm gonna click a patient and then click an action. So I have to currently do this now, and so that's no different inside the new platform. When I click remove, it's gonna default me to the do now med list, but you can see that I can choose all orders right here. And then it's a touch screen, so I just grab and scroll. And you can see that the blue bubble is gonna highlight a med that is uh, got a due time that's close to the current time. And then there's also meds that have a due time that are not close to my current time. And so they are not highlighted with the blue bubble. So the blue bubble is just trying to draw my attention towards that due time because that medication is due right now. Um, so I could choose a few meds and then um, choose to remove them. And I would do that by clicking remove med and then that would pop open the drawers and let me pull them. If I decide that I didn't want to remove a med, I could click any of the X's and it will remove them from that list. Uh, I wanna show you how to make a My Patient List. So for those of you that need to make a subset list of patients, so we have all available patients, which is what we're looking at right now, all available patients. And if I wanna make a smaller list of that, I'm gonna to go to My Patients, you saw that there. And then if I need to edit this list, let's say I just got a different assignment, I'm gonna to go to Edit, Patient List, and now is where I can change the My Patient List. So on this side of the screen, this is all available patients, and this side is the My Patient List that's a subset of this list. So I'm gonna actually take a few people out that are no longer on my assignment, and when I'm ready to say good, I say accept. So now these are all the patients in my assignment. The blue dots represent scheduled meds, uh, these dots would be orange if they were now or stat meds. And so the, the My Patient list has two benefits. One, it's a smaller list than the all available patients. And two, it's gonna save me one click, um, the click of remove by pushing one of these blue dots. So normally I'd have to select a patient and then select remove. But by just clicking the blue dot, it takes me right into a removal screen for whatever time frame or category I chose. Now I pressed all order, blue dot, which is gonna take me into a removal screen for all orders, but I could have chosen something else. I could have chosen a time. I wanna just remove the meds for 1400. So if I click that blue dot, it takes me just to the meds that are due on or around that time. So historically we've used a time range at the top of the screen here, but with that blue dot, you would just choose the time that you want to remove and it's going to allow you to um, remove meds for a time that's around that time frame. So I chose 1400, so these are all the meds that are around that time. So please use that and if you don't see what you need, just click all orders and then grab and scroll. Now medications that are controlled, they have this green banner, witness on waste. So continue to follow the normal workflow. If you waste when you pull medications, continue that workflow. If you waste as soon as you can, within the hour that you're allowed per our policy, continue that workflow. If you need to override something, you're just gonna choose the patient and then choose override. 
Um, and also if there's a system kit, like a hemorrhage kit, anaphylaxis kit, rapid sequence intubation, that's always gonna be here. For override, a difference I want you to be aware of is that you need to type in the medication name. And it needs the first three letters. You can type in a brand name or a generic name. So the medication I programmed here in training is fentanyl. So I'm gonna type in SUB. I type in SUB and it brings up fentanyl or sublazim. So I can either type in FEN or SUB and I'm gonna get the same drug. As soon as, I know it's override because it's got that blue and white barber pole. As soon as I uh, click into it, I'm gonna say, yep, that's what I want and I'm gonna remove it. Drawer's gonna pop open just like it normally does and the cubby's gonna pop open. Now there's not gonna be candy inside but you're gonna pull out your drug after you follow the instructions. So it's going to highlight all the drugs and if I had multiple drugs, they'd just be all lined up right here. So if I'm doing a big med pass, it's all gonna be lined up here. It's gonna highlight the one that it's focusing on so I just need to follow the directions on the screen, okay? So see the one that's highlighted on the list, follow the directions, so I'm gonna enter what I think is the right count. And I've been throwing candy in and out of these bins all day so it's not gonna be correct but this is training. So I'm gonna count and then I'm going to remove, and I did that, and I'm gonna close the pocket, and that's going to equal the accept. So I'm gonna close the pocket, and here's my screen. It says close the drawer, so I'm gonna do that. If for some reason the drawer gets stuck and I can't close it, I'm gonna say can't continue, and that's gonna allow me to fail this drawer and say there's a hardware issue, and so then that's gonna send a message to pharmacy to come and fix the drawer. Now you notice there was a different little icon that just popped up here. Like I said, this is a touch screen, so just tap it and it'll tell you what those icons mean. Um, and then if we go to our home, back up here, home screen, and I have a failed drawer, failed pocket, so I'm going to recover that storage space. There's my failed drawer, the one that I said it wouldn't close very well. I'm gonna choose it and say I'm gonna start. Well, it says, hey, clear any obstructions. So I'm gonna go down here, maybe there's an alcohol swab that got stuck in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what it's asking me to do on the screen, clear obstructions, and then close the drawer. And I just resolved that failed hardware. So I hope that was helpful. There's a few, um, uh, a few things about this new system, but it's pretty intuitive. I would just tell you it's a touch screen, it's like an iPad. So don't use the arrows down and up, just grab and scroll on the screen um, and you'll be able to figure out your way through this just fine.